We turn now to a rare look at some baby owls in northern Utah. Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy spent the day near Snowbird catching up with the flock. Bird was the word in northern Utah today. Is he the cutest? Oh, flammulated owls. We share our state with them in a study underway right now to learn more about the species right here in the beehive state. Oh, you're so cute. Flame like racing stripes here on the back. That are flammulated baby owls, ridiculously cute and born right here in Utah. It's a very charismatic species. Many people enjoy this bird. Many birders seek out flammulated owls, even though they are actually one of the more common owls. Uh, they're hard to find. The second smallest owl in North America. They get their name from the pattern on their wings that resembles flames. It's just a young, but still full young. Marcus Meek has been researching these owls in Utah since 1999. The birds spend the summer in Utah, then head south to Mexico. Adult flammulated owls utilize nest boxes in four northern Utah canyons to lay their eggs. Studying these populations to have a better understanding of other populations that rely on the same resources. And that's why I've been sticking with this and turned this into a long-term project. This year has been an interesting one. Right now, there's a big boom in the flammulated owls nesting with about 500 owls in northern Utah. Our wonderful weather pattern may have helped our feathered friends. Drought years like 2015 meant low survival rates for young owls. And in 2020, we had snow, but we saw a rapid warm up. It's one of the, the most mellow and coolest springs that I've ever experienced here. And the plants had a really great chance to, to uh, 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 adapt to that and they grew extremely fast and the insects came out out of nowhere uh, at a very, very fast rate. And all of a sudden I have out of the 24 nests that we're monitoring, I have had five nests that tried to have four young, which is usually one young more than they than they generally produce. So they, I think the birds detected that this is a pretty good year. So why should you give a hoot? The study shares information on the nesting, feeding, and migration pattern of these owls. Biologists weigh, band, and measure the wingspan of the population. It's like a real-life seminar on the species, looking at how forest birds fare in Utah. This is something the Division of Wildlife Biologists and partners like Hawks Unlimited really value. Control is habitat quality, habitat characteristics, food resources, um, what these species have available to them so they can be resilient to weather extremes. Um, so whether it's larger climatic patterns or individual storm events, what is gonna help a individual critter be resilient to those types of stressors. Now remember to responsibly recreate, never interrupt or disturb a nest box or an owl in the wild. Make sure you keep your eyes to the skies for Utah wildlife and Utah weather. Reporting from the Wasatch Back, I'm Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy. Time now for your